Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to set up Windows automatic enrollment in Microsoft Intune. Enrolling devices into your environment is one of the steps in configuring Microsoft Intune. Configuring automatic enrollment is possibly one of the most useful features as well. When users sign into their Windows devices using their work credentials during the initial setup or adds a work account, the device can be automatically enrolled into Intune, allowing the device to be managed. This is controlled by MDM user scoop. Adding automatic enrollment ensures you have visibility of devices and it also ensures you can set appropriate policies and compliance on devices where work is being performed. First of all, we need to open Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. You can access it using the URL https colon double slash endpoint.microsoft.com. In the first step, we will configure MDM user scope and MAM user scope. On home page, click on Devices. Under Device Enrollment, click on Enroll Devices. We will be on Windows Enrollment page. Remember, this setting affects all devices, not just Windows devices. Even though the setting is located under Devices and Windows. Under General, click on Automatic Enrollment. We will reach on MDM and MAM scope configuration page. Currently, it is not configured. By selecting some, you can choose designated groups in Azure Active Directory that will receive automatic enrollment. This is useful for testing and for situations where you only want to enroll some users or groups. Let me click on some. To add groups, click on No Group Selected and select the group you would like to target. Let me click on No Group Selected. Search and select your group. Here we will use group name MDM Test Group 1. After selecting group, click on Select and then click on Save to save the changes. We got the confirmation message, successfully updated Microsoft Intune. Some clients may choose to select all to automatically enroll all devices rather than a specific group. Group enrollment can be great option if you want to test Intune in your environment before deploying to the entire business or restrict enrollment to specified users only. Machine will only automatically enroll into Indune if user is part of this specified group. Click on Enroll Devices and Windows Enrollment. If you have added custom domain and you want to simplify Windows enrollment without Azure AD Premium, you can use a CNAME option. Let me click over there. To enroll a Windows device using this method, you must create a DNS alias CNAME record that redirects enrollment request to Intune server. Since we are using default.onmicrosoft.com domain name, we are not able to see that method. So if you have custom domain, you need to add here to test the CNAME validation functionality. In the second step, we will verify the licensing requirements for Microsoft Intune. Users must be licensed for Intune and Intune service must be turned on in the license for automatic enrollment to work. Let's check that. Click on Users. Remember, we have configured that only members of MDM Test Group 1 has auto enrollment permission. Click on Username Test User 2. Under Manage, click on Groups. We can confirm that this user, TSTUSER2, is member of the group 
MDM Test Group 1. Under Manage, click on Licenses. We can confirm that user has Active Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 license assigned to him. Click on Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5. Verify user has a license for Microsoft Intune. Here it is. We can confirm that Test User 2 has Microsoft Intune license assigned to him. You can create a dynamic group that will automatically be populated with users that are licensed for Intune and have the service turned on. After configuring auto enrollment settings, we want to test it out. We will be manually joining a Windows computer to check the auto enrollment. Let's go to our Windows 10 virtual machine. We have this Windows 10 VM with version 21H1. Let's manually join this Windows 10 computer to Azure Active Directory. On your Windows 10 computer, click on Start menu. Click on Settings gear icon. Click on Accounts. Click on Access, Work or School. Click on Connect. Click on Join this device to Azure Active Directory. After clicking on the link, you will be prompted to enter your Azure AD user account credentials. I will use Test User 2's credential. Let's enter Test User 2's UPN, which is user2 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Click Next. Enter the user's password and click on Sign In. If your organization has enabled multi-factor authentication on Azure Active Directory, you will need to complete the MFA before this device can join Azure Active Directory. If MFA is not enabled, the Azure AD Join wizard will ask you to check and confirm your organization's name and details. And that we can see here. Make sure this is your organization Connecting to msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com Username is user2 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com and user type is administrator. Once you are sure about the organization's Azure AD domain you want to join, click on Join. This will begin the enrollment and will take some time to enroll the device. We can see the message, this device is connected to MSF Surat. Click on Done to finish the process. The machine will now show that it is connected to MSF Suraj's Azure Active Directory. Let's sign out from the local user account. Click on Other User. The login screen now changes to Sign in to your work or school account. Let's sign in using Taste User 2's user account, which is user2 at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Let's enter the user password and hit enter key. This is the first time we are logging to this Windows 10 computer using the credential of Taste User 2, and that's why user profile creation process will take some time to finish. Here we can see it is telling us that your organization requires you to set up your work or school account with Windows Hello Face, Fingerprint or PIN. So let me click on OK. It will ask us to set up the PIN to protect our credentials. It is asking us to verify our identity. So it will send one uh, OTP code on registered mobile number. So let me click on it. Let me enter the code here, 088164. Let's uh, click on verify to complete the verification process. The verification process is completed. Now the next step is to set up the pin for this Windows 10 computer. Uh, let's set up the pin. 
Let's click OK. We can see the message. All set. Now a user can sign in with the pin which we have just set up. Let me click on OK. We can confirm that now test user 2 can successfully log in to Azure AD join Windows 10 computer. On Windows 10 computer, click on Start menu. Click on Settings gear icon. Click on Accounts. Click on Access, Work or School. You can click on the account and validate the enrollment by clicking on Info. So let me click on Connected to MSF Suraj's Azure Active Directory and click on Info. You can see your organization name at the top, managed by MSF Surat. Check the connection information as well. Uh, here you can see device sync status. We can see the time when the last sync was successful. Uh, here it is. And if you want to sync this device with Intune right now, then you can click on sync. As you can see, the sync is in progress. We also want to confirm the device is successfully auto-enrolled in Microsoft Intune as well. But let's complete the process first and then we will go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center web interface. We can see the sync was successful and the timestamp is latest one. Okay. Uh, before we move to Microsoft Endpoint Manager web interface, uh, let me check the device host name. So let's right click on start button and click on system. Uh, this is the device name, uh, desktop. Uh, so this is the default name. In Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, I'm going to click on devices. Click on all devices. Here we can see the name of a Windows 10 computer with OS version information. And uh, you can check this device name with the name which we had on our uh, virtual machine. The most important thing is the under manage column. We can confirm that this device is managed by Intune. Ownership type is corporate, compliance is compliant, and the primary user UPN is user2 at msapsurat.onmicrosoft.com. So that concludes the video on how to set up Windows Automatic Enrollment in Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.